Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yuying Gang. I'm from Shanghai Dong Hai Jiao University. I'm very well known to present our work. Our family base, we are trying to do donations for our own gestures. We are trying to do donations. I'm very interested in our work from the following aspects. Well, as human sensing technology has just significant attention in recent years due to the risk of non-investiveness and per rising protection, it has emerged a wide range of, of innovative in, innovative applications such as falling down protection, access tracking, human protection, and so on. This trying to build a more natural range between human and the computer, and the recent, recent related technologies may re rely on variables, computer vision, they all have their own limitations, such as privacy concern, battery limitation. So, when wireless sensing is just trying to reach, there are some avoid, um, avoidable challenges to be solved. The first is the strict, strict requirements of the environment in wireless sensing. The wireless, sim the wireless signal propagation path is determined by the relative position of the hardware deployment as well as the surrounding environment. The system may work well in some known environments, but degrades significantly when it comes to a new environment. Similar to the former, the user diversity is also a challengeable issue. Different people have different types, weight, body shape, and they also have different profit, just for performing habits. So, the performance of the user-dependent method may decrease greatly when the user is new to the system. Moreover, a number of recent works on gesture detection are designed for recognizing gestures after it is completed. So, the latency between gesture completion and the recognition cannot be avoided. So, we present the user and our based environment, user independent real gesture recognizing system. The user standing in front of the R5 antenna and uh, with an R5 tag on each wrist, they are performing different gestures. The little motion caused by gesture execution will change the relative position between R5 tags and the antenna. Then, to our that signal propagation as we said correspondingly. The low level physics characters, face and RLS dreams, are reported by the R5 reader. Then, they are pre-processed and fitted into Montemota CNN feature extractor to extract features. Then, just your signals later on, they for the feature strings and just your probability situation. In the last, the gesture predictor inverts the ongoing gestures. Now let's see the details. First, the first merger is data connector. First, phase online is performed on the low phase strings, and then the interpolation is applied to obtain phase and RSS strings for our text with a uniform frequency. Suppose that the reader is one than the monitor's end text. So, at any sampling point, we can obtain n phase values and n RSS values, and then we get two n-dimensional vectors. Then, we split these two vectors among time to generate two sliding windows whose length is n with 50% overlay. Then, we convert all windows of text to n, n times n matrix. May the R5 at any time at any time, we can get one RFID clip. Then, we feed the RFID clip straight into the deep learning module. In the deep learning module, we inter introduce feature extractor first. We leverage a uh, multimodal CN to represent the high level representations. Specific for each RFID clip, there are two n times n data matrices corresponding to phase and RSS, respectively. We employ a two-layer CNN on each individual data matrix to extract into modality features. After convolutions, we merge the results of two subnets to get the output of this layer. Eventually, after flattening, the merged results is feeding into 
uh, fully connected the layer to black cross modality information. We model the temporal dependency of our ID to sequences using our identities and our STM. In just a sequence later, the representation from future extractor are in the probability that probability is vector of the future neighbors in, in the our time period. Different from sequence labor to do, do minutes with minators only work during the training process as a class factor. So we model the user diversity and environment and discrepancy using by directional RS and class factor. Which pertains to RS TM layer operating in all size directions along the high demand. Such a design ensures the inference about user or position dependent on the full, full sequences with a better ability of control model. Before describing the objective and training and the reason of the inverted module, we introduce three variables that for the cross control loss between the ground truth and the inference. Specific LG may be the loss of gestures where LB and IU stand for loss of the environment and the user's respect. In traditional measures, we always direct to optimize the parameters in the feature character and the general to minimize the LG. In the URL, we select the user's post data and put it in the training set in some self-conversation, limited and controlled environment. But to make it very effective, we see and see users or unconsidered environments due to the user variation and environment dependency. Our final objective is to make the representation from feature extractor more gesture discriminating but environment independent and user independent. The layer two points are ob obviously offside to the purpose of two domain discriminators. Therefore, all three loss functions are taken into considera consideration jointly. The parameters in the, the parameters in feature extractor and the gesture sequence label are optimized to minimize LG as, as, as well as maximize LE and LU. <coughs> in two domain discriminator optimizers, for keeping the ability to recognize the do domain of representation, we update the parameters in the discriminators to minimize the LE and RU respectively. By the, way, by the way, the parameters in the feature extractor and the just sequence labor keeps constant in, the, in this optimization for the ability of recognizing gestures. The three optimizers are employed to update all parameters of our model iteratively. Through these all size optimizations between the gesture recognizer and the domain discriminators, user developer and the environment with specific factors are surprised and uh, features still keep gesture representative. Traditionally, a source code is manually set for all gestures to make the inference. However, this chosen source code may work well with some gestures, but better with others, according to an SPM classifier in Moidat gesture predictor. And uh, the non gesture stage, which means unconsidered gesture or static stage, is taken into consideration. And we take the static statistic feature from gesture sequence labor as the input of gesture predictor. When the probability of non-gesture state output by gesture sequence labor is not the highest several times in a row, the gesture predictor is woken up and start to engender the gesture prediction nearly tightly to the outside when the probability of non-gesture state becomes the highest and if it is held at several subsequent time periods, the judge of the declared process deep stage again. The next part is implementation and evaluation. The hardware devices we use are all possible. These three pictures are 
projects or for our environment for rooms. And so in the last feature, there are seven possible rating positions of the user standing area and the agenda. The orange star means orange star means the donation denotes the possible area where users are required to stand on. Right actors stand for the agenda. And the uh, real world deployment of two rooms, the meeting room and the wall box, and so they enjoy the right to first. To demonstrate the superiority of our grades, we compare our message with other competitive messages in personalized mode. Personalized mode means that each natural sample may come from any known volunteers. All samples are performed in a certain environment. The comparison result is shown in the future, where the average precision and recall for each gesture as a function of the NTDD value. NTDD means normalized time that detects, which is the portion of gesture that has been completed. Apparently, the user achieves better performance than other methods. When the NTDD is close to 50%, the average precision and the recall are higher than 99%. And then we discuss the performance of ANSI users in a new environment and demonstrate the significance of Edward architecture. EU IPTR means environment and user environment training. EU is to the average 88.6% of precision and 80. 6.7 of recall about new users in new environments, which is much higher than the average about 56% of precision and recall caused by native training. For evaluating the wrong type of performance, we using the uh, laptop with the uh, CPU and the GPU a lot, respectively. The CBF of high cost is shown in the figure. Even, even with CPU, almost all time costs are less than 180 microseconds. Take the length of the time window, which is immensely in favor of 200 microseconds into consideration. We can also put a better prediction. prediction before next type of bounds. For demonstrating the effectiveness and the generality of the user, we also have collected eight gestures of writing letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, C D, some, and, and so on in the L, and evaluated the proposed method on these gestures. The comparative evaluation with other competitive murders is carried out and the user also obtained the uh, average precision and the recall of higher than 85% in untrained environments. So, let's come to We designed the uh, user and based environments, environments and the user independent real time gesture recognizing system. We that was our learning, user su surprises the Effects of the user blackmail and the environment specific factors in the traditional model. To support the natural gestural interaction in immersive applications, user adopts an SVM and classifier as a gesture predictor to detecting ongoing gestures. 